So this question came uh, based on a video that I did quite a while ago about this uh, this this idea that uh, Octopus have put forward called zonal pricing, and this is this is something that Ed Miliband the uh, I was going to say the, the person in charge. I don't really know that he's in charge of anything. But Ed Miliband has uh, got to make a decision on this summer. Now, zonal pricing should change two things about uh, the way we buy electricity in this country. One is it would break the link between electricity and gas, which I think everybody agrees is a good thing. That the fact we shouldn't have to be paying so much for electricity just because the price of gas is high. It makes no sense to anybody. So that's one thing that it will do. But there's been a lot of press uh, and just every day I go and look online, there are more and more videos, um, some pro-zonal pricing and some absolutely adamant that zonal pricing will be, you know, the end of all of us. Um, so Octopus put out a video that was about uh, higher bills in the South. And actually, it turns out with zonal pricing, we, we shouldn't end up with higher bills anywhere. But it will allow uh, those that live right next to renewable energy plants, specifically those in Scotland, to get much cheaper power. Now, the video at the bottom there, which was Ed Miliband on Good Morning Britain, which is, if you, if you can listen to Ed for any length of time, it's actually worth listening to. Um, he was saying that the one thing that he won't allow is anybody's bills to go up. So if we introduce zonal pricing, it should be good for everybody, not just the few people that live in Scotland. So again, um, lots of pros and cons. The the, the talk, talk TV uh, right wing channel there, you're going to be punished. Um, it was all nonsense, but I thought for, for balance, I'd put them up on the screen because there are involved in this argument. So hopefully zonal pricing won't put the price up in the south of England, but it should mean it brings down all of the cost of our energy. Now, is the government going to be brave enough to completely change the way our energy industry works? I have my doubts, but we will see. Um, so if you haven't seen it, that was the video that I put out. Um, the one thing I was surprised nobody noticed, but the three gentlemen there having a fight, I used a, a new AI tool that I was playing with at work. Um, that is actually the CEO of uh, British Gas or Centrica on the left. That's supposed to be Dale Vince. Um, I think Dale would look at that and say, um, he, it certainly looks a lot younger and a lot fitter than Dale actually is in real life. And then obviously the CEO of Octopus in the middle with Ed Miliband refereeing the fight. Nobody picked up on it, so it, it made me laugh, if nothing else.